Hello and welcome to the Daytel Software Solutions Cloud Suite Quick Start Guide. This video will go over the basic features of the software and how to use each of them. Cloud Suite is a browser-based software that provides metrics and details about the calls happening on your organization's phone system. Let's start by logging into the Cloud Suite web interface. The URL to access the Cloud Suite web interface is simply cloudsuite.net. Suite being spelled S-W-E-E-T, as in sugar, and there's no need for a www before the name. Your login username and password will either be provided by Daytel at the completion of installation, or by someone in your organization that already has access to Cloud Suite. Enter your provided credentials on the login page. Once you're logged in, you'll be presented with the dashboard view. This view is customizable with a couple of different widgets and serves to display various metrics at a glance. To customize the widgets that are displayed on the dashboard, simply click on the gear. If you want to add a new widget, simply click on the Add Widget button. If you want to edit or remove an existing widget, click on its name to expand it, edit what you want to change, then click on the Save and Reload Widgets button at the top. Widgets that are displayed on the dashboard can also be moved around and resized. First, click on the red lock button to unlock the dashboard. To move a widget, click and drag it from inside its box. To resize a widget, click and drag the small notch icon in the lower right of the desired widget. When you finish moving or resizing, you can lock the dashboard by clicking the green lock button at the top. It is important to note that since Cloud Suite is compatible with mobile devices as well as computers, refreshing the page will reset the dashboard to its default sizing and arrangement to avoid messing things up for different types of devices that may view the dashboard. The next feature to look at is the Cradle to Grave view. This view can be accessed by clicking on the Call History menu, then clicking on Cradle to Grave. The Cradle to Grave view serves to show the complete details of a call from start to finish. There are some limits to this on different types of phone systems, so if you have questions, feel free to reach out to Daytel. At the top of Cradle to Grave, you can select the date range you wish to view. Do note that since this view is so detailed, loading a large date range, or loading a date range with a large number of calls, may take some time. Once your selected date range is loaded, you can filter the results by simply typing in any of the filter fields under the column names. The displayed data will update automatically to reflect what you've entered into the filters. You can also expand each displayed call record in order to see the individual events that took place during the course of that particular call. If you have a large number of calls, you may need to scroll all the way to the bottom of the screen, where you can then find controls to navigate between pages of loaded call records. Finally, you can also export the call records in the selected date range by clicking the Export to Excel button in the top left corner of the screen. Do note that if you are exporting a large number of call records, this process could take some time. The next feature we'll cover is the ability to run on-demand reports. To run a report, click on the Call History menu, then click on Run Report. This will bring you to the reporting screen. First, you'll want to select the type of report that you want to run. This can be done simply by clicking the Report Type drop-down. We won't cover the details of each report in this video. For information about each report, please refer to the Cloud Suite Training Guide. Below the Report Type drop-down, you can select the date range on which you want to run the report. As with Cradle to Grave, large date ranges and high call volumes will take longer to run. Below the Start and End Date selectors are the rest of the parameters for the report. For this video, we will be running the Extension Summary Report. This report has parameters that are the same on most other reports. You have the ability to run the report on all extensions, or you can select a single extension. You can also choose the domain. Internal means that you only want to see calls that took place between extensions on the phone system, whereas external means you only want to see calls that involve a party outside of the phone system. Setting the direction parameter to incoming will limit the results to calls that were received by extensions on the phone system, and setting the parameter to outgoing will limit results to calls that were made by extensions on the phone system. If you only want results that contain a specific phone number, you can enter that number into the phone number field. The extension group field refers to a group of extensions that can be set up for reporting purposes, such as a sales or help desk department. 
the extension groups feature will be covered in the management portion of this video. Once you've set all your desired parameters, simply click Run Report and your report will be generated. Once the report has been generated, it will appear on screen. The parameters that were used to run the report will be shown at the top unless you uncheck the Show Parameters box in the upper right corner. Most of the reports function similarly to Cradle to Grave, in that the rows within the report can be expanded to see more details, and that multiple pages of results can be navigated in the bottom left. If you need to export the report, you can do so in either Excel or PDF format by clicking on the appropriate button on the top left. You can follow essentially the same procedure for the other report types that are available. The available parameters will just be somewhat different in some of the reports. In addition to running reports on demand, Cloud Suite also offers the ability to send out reports on a regular basis via the Scheduled Reports feature. This feature can be accessed by clicking on the Call History menu and then on Schedule Report. If there are one or more scheduled reports already set up, they will be listed in the Scheduled Report dropdown. If you want to set up a new scheduled report, simply click on the Add New Scheduled Report button at the top of the screen. The newly created scheduled report will automatically be selected, and you can begin adjusting the parameters. The title parameter is used to describe the report in a way that makes sense to you. For example, one might set up a weekly report for a help desk department, and the title of the report could be something like Weekly Help Desk Performance. The format parameter can either be Excel or PDF, much like the on-demand report options. For the frequency parameter, Cloud Suite supports daily, weekly, monthly, and one-time scheduled reports. This parameter is quite simple and just determines how often the scheduled report will run. For example, if you want to run a report on the number of calls an extension took each day, you might set up a daily report. However, if you want to see the number of calls they took each week, you might set up a weekly report. Once the frequency is selected, you can enter the email address of anyone that you would like to receive the report. If you want to send the report to more than one email, you can enter multiple addresses here, separated by commas. Once that's done, you can set the other report parameters, much like running an on-demand report. The main difference between the date parameters in on-demand reports and those here on the scheduled report screen is that with a scheduled report, the report will run once the end date has been reached. For example, if the report is a weekly report set to run from 12 a.m. on the 2nd to 12 a.m. on the 7th, the report will be sent out at 12 a.m. on the 7th. Since it is a weekly report, the start and end dates will then be automatically incremented by one week, meaning that at the end of each week, you will get a report containing the data for that week. The process is the same for scheduling all of the other available report types. If you're a basic user of the software and will not be managing access to the application or the advanced settings that are available, you can stop watching here. The rest of this video will cover the administrative functions of the software. If you are management, please continue watching. In this part of the video, we will cover the management and administration of your Cloud Suite setup. Essentially, all of these functions are in the Manage menu at the top right of the page. Let's start by clicking on the Configure Users option. On this page, you will be able to edit existing users as well as add new users that you wish to grant access to Cloud Suite. User configuration is quite straightforward. You can edit an existing user's username or role, and you can add a new user. Currently, the only two roles are admin and user. Admins have access to all of the management functions, whereas the only management basic users can do is resetting their own password. Next, let's click on the Configure Extensions option. By default, all the extensions on your system will be loaded at time of installation by Daytel. It's important to note that there is no automatic syncing of extensions once the installation has been completed, so if you have new extensions added to the system after Cloud Suite has already been set up, you'll need to come here and add the extensions. On this screen, you can edit extension names as well as edit the group memberships of an extension, both for hunt groups and for extension groups. Hunt groups are groups that are actually programmed on the phone system, whereas extension groups can be created arbitrarily for reporting purposes. To edit the membership of an extension, simply click on the desired group name to select or unselect it from the list of groups then save the changes at the bottom of the page. 
Next, let's click on the Configure Extension Groups option. Here, you can create and edit extension groups. Extension groups allow you to group together any number of specific extensions to meet your reporting needs. For example, you may want to be able to report on the team leads of all departments at once. There may not be a group on the phone system built just for the team leads, however, by using the extension groups feature, you can create a group and assign just the team leads extensions to it. Next, let's click on the configure hunt groups option. Here, you can edit existing hunt groups and add new ones. Much like extensions, Data will load all groups from the phone system at time of installation, but there is no automatic syncing, so if new groups are set up on the phone system, they will need to be added here. Next, let's click on the Configure Settings option. Here, you can configure various options specific to your organization. These options currently include time zone, working days, working hours, and access codes. Access codes are the digits that you need to dial before a phone number in order to dial out of the local phone system. Typically, these will be 9 or 91. If you have multiple access codes, you can enter them all, separated by commas. Finally, let's click on the Configure Alarms option. On this page, you can create and edit number screening alarms as well as no data alarms. Number screen alarms can send alerts to one or more email addresses when a specified number is called. Both the calling and called parties on a call record will be searched according to the parameters specified in the specific alarm that has been set up. The other type of alarm is the no data alarm. This will simply send an email alert when no data has been received by CloudSuite for the configured amount of time. This is intended to ensure that whenever configuration changes may be made on either the phone system or on the cloud suite environment, data is still being received. Both types of alarms have the option to respect your organization's working times. For example, if you're open Monday through Friday and have that configured in your settings, but you still want to get 911 alerts on the weekends, you would want to uncheck the option to apply working days and hours. The final configurable option is call costing, but as that feature does not apply to all organizations, it will not be covered in this video. And with that, we come to the end of this quick start guide. If you have any questions or need more details on anything that was covered, feel free to contact us by phone at 724-940-0400, option 2 for support, or by email at support at daytelgroup.com. Thank you for your time, and we look forward to providing you with call metrics.